Imagine a creature so bizarre, it defies everything we know about life. It is not a virus, it is not a cell, something entirely new. Welcome to Mr. Scientific. In the next few minutes, let me explain. In the Atlantic Ocean, scientists were studying tiny plankton when they discovered something strange hiding inside, a microscopic organism unlike anything they had ever seen. They named it Sucnarchium mirabile. At first glance, it looks like a simple microbe, but then the surprises start. It does not make its own energy. It cannot survive without a host. Now, that may sound more like a virus. Traditionally, scientists believe that a living thing should be made up of cells, grow and reproduce on its own, use energy, respond to its environment. While viruses fail most of these tests, since they are not made up of cells, they do not make energy and they cannot reproduce unless they infect another organism, a host. As a result, viruses are usually seen as non-living, complex particles that come to life only inside a host. But Sukunarchium is different. It is made up of cells. It can make proteins using its own tools. But just like a virus, it cannot survive alone. It needs another organism, a host, to provide energy and raw material. So, is it alive since it is made up of cells and it can make its own protein? Not really, but it is not dead like a virus either. It exists in a strange state in between. In simple words, viruses are like software, a set of instructions with no power unless installed on a computer, a host. Sukunarchium is more like an ultralight laptop. It has its own few built-in features, but it still needs to be plugged into a power source, a host, to function. Scientists are now questioning if life exists on a spectrum. Rather than being alive or dead, it may exist somewhere in between, a fluid state rather than a fixed yes or no. If you like this video, do not forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.